my esteemed colleague minister of state for ayush shri shripad nayak ji health minister of maharashtra shri rajesh tope ji founder chairperson medscape india dr sunita dubey ji all the distinguished experts from different fields of medicine gathered here today ladies and gentlemen a very good afternoon to all of you i would first and foremost like to extend warm greetings to each and every one on the occasion of national doctors day if it were not for the tireless efforts of our doctors the story of how the pandemic has unfolded so far would have been drastically different they have fought from the front put themselves in harm's way risking their own safety and that of their loved ones to save the lives of numerous others i would also like to take a moment to deeply condole the unfortunate demise of so many corona warriors my heart truly bleeds for each and every one of them and their families no words or actions shall ever be enough to repay the debt society owes to our real life superheroes our doctors friends it is truly an honor for me to be addressing so many domain experts and veterans belonging to different fields of medical practices gathered here today i greatly appreciate medscape india for organizing today's conclave on this momentous occasion the venerable organization under the stewardship of dr sunita dubey has been doing remarkable work in the field of health care as well as furthering social causes such as protecting the girl child women empowerment and various others for 18 years now their support to various government initiatives such as the fit india movement as well as efforts for generating awareness about hiv cancer and more recently making extensive efforts to provide covid care through a range of services are highly commendable medscape's proposal for doctors day to be called as immunity day is one which finds utmost relevance in today's day and age this pandemic which has brought health to the center stage like never before has also put a large spotlight on strengthening one's immunity among the public at large eating right exercising focusing on physical as well as mental well being and striving for holistic wellness are no longer viewed as mere lifestyle choices but as means which are necessary to ensure a healthy and long life in that regard immunity day is a great proposal to generate more awareness about the significance of enhancing natural immunity which plays an important role in defending a body against diseases and infections it also gives me great pleasure to know that medscape india has declared an expression of interest to set up a unique statue of immunity i have been told that the first of its kind initiative to create a monument dedicated for health and human immunity is envisioned to become a symbol of global solidarity advancing research technological developments as well as studies on data over 190 countries related to immunity in different communities and societies across the world the concept of the project which is being unveiled today proposes to include setting up of a library a world class research center a compilation of immunity enhancing measures followed by various countries creating demographic data from the whole world having an auditorium and huge statue of immunity which shall attract domestic and foreign tourists as well i have been informed that the organization which is to present this concept in the upcoming world health assembly of who in 2022 I wish to extend my wholehearted support to this endeavor as this unique one of its kind project in the world 
shall provide global visibility to India's efforts for promoting holistic health and commitment towards ensuring health for all. It shall be one more step forward in making India a Vishwa Guru. Once again, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to all members of the medical fraternity on the occasion of National Doctors Day. All of you have truly served as the beacon of hope and light during these challenging times when the going seemed bleak and despair for so many. I would like to thank all of you for giving me the opportunity to address this esteemed gathering. I look forward to fruitful outcomes from your deliberations at this conclave and wish all of you great success in all your endeavors.